Hi, I'm George, and in this special beginning Photoshop Elements video, I'll be talking about how to save a file. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also click on subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notifications of my new videos and to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements. Take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. I have here a nice standard, fairly complex Photoshop Elements file. Lots of layers in here. Some layers are hidden. Some layers are shown. I have some adjustment layers in here. A lot of stuff going on. And I'll need to save this for use. Now, the first thing you need to ask yourself on saving an image is, will you ever need to work on this file again? Now, my recommendation is always to save it first in the standard save format, which is the Photoshop format, Photoshop Elements format, the PSD format. And for that, just go up here to File and come down to Save right now. It will then save the file in the Photoshop and Photoshop Elements format, the PSD format. And the reason for that is it saves all of this stuff over here on the right-hand side. All of your layers, all of your adjustments, everything is saved. And that allows you to easily go back in the future and make more adjustments if you want to. So I always do that first. That's kind of my protection and also my editable copy is taken care of. So you won't lose any of that work. Now you need to decide how you want to use your final image. Are you taking this to a printer? Are you going to be printing it out yourself on your own printer? Are you planning on using this online? You know, lots of options that will determine what format to save this into. Now, saving it for use on a smartphone or putting up online someplace on a website, the best version or best format for that is going to be your JPEG format. There are two ways to do that, and the easiest way is just to go up here to File, come down to Save As right there, and then simply choose the Save As down here as JPEG right there. Now, when you save this, click on Save, it's going to give you this little pop-up dialog box. And this is for your options here on how small the file to make. With the internet nowadays, it's very good at displaying images. So I always recommend just going for the largest file size. Put that clear to the right-hand side, and you should be at just fine. Everything else can stay at their basic settings. Or just click on Maximum right there. And then just choose Save, and that's fine. That will then save it as a JPEG with the largest size, which will give you the highest image resolution. And that's what you want on that. Now, if you're saving this to print, if you're printing it on your own computer, on your own printer that's attached to your computer, you can leave it here in the Photoshop Elements format, the PSD format. You can print right from this file. It doesn't have to be saved into any other format. This is perfect for printing. Go up to File, come down to Print right there. This brings up the Print dialog box, and then you simply have to set the settings that you want for your print, and you're all set to go. There we go. This is set here for a paper size of 8.5 by 11. This is the actual size of this picture, which is 6 by 4. If I wanted to make this larger, I'll just click on Crop to Fit right there. And then come down here and make sure it stays cropped to fit. There it is. And then come down here and set for 8 by 10. And that's going to enlarge the image to fit onto my sheet of paper. If I want to 4 by 6, you know, 5 by 7 or 8 by 10, that should work out fine. Anything above that is going to be a bit difficult. You can go smaller always, but going larger, you begin to lose a little bit of detail, but not that much in these size ranges right in here. I normally work at the 4 by 6 size inside of Elements because most of my work is for the internet, for viewing on screen, and this is a good size, good large size for that. So there you go. Just come in here, set your settings, and then print it out, and that's fine. You can do that right from the Photoshop file, the Photoshop Elements file as well, the PSD format. No need to save into anything different. Now, if you need to send this to a professional printer for printing, that's where your other options come in. We'll go up here to File come down to Save As again. And you can see we have a lot of formats down here. Bitmap format, the CompuServe GIF format, PSE format, there's your JPEG, Pixar, PNG here, and the TIFF format. So you need to talk to your professional printer and ask them what file formats they can work with. If they can work with the PSD file format, your Photoshop, Photoshop Elements file format right there, then that's the best one to use. Again, this retains the highest quality possible. So if they can use this file format, and most of them I think can nowadays, then go ahead and leave it at this format and save that out. The next best file format for sending to a professional printer 
is the Adobe Acrobat or PDF file format, and you'll find that again in the Save As dialog box. File, come down to Save As. Let's look at our list right down here. And there it is, Photoshop PDF. That's one that you would want to use for a professional printer if that's what they're accepting. And again, most printers will either be using the standard Photoshop Photoshop Elements file format, the PSD format, or they'll be able to use the PDF format right down there. Everything else here are for other special purposes, but those are the main ones that we'll be working with, main ones you need to concern yourself with. Most of the time, if possible, stick with the PSD file format. If you're going for a screen, then the JPEG is the way to go in most cases. If you're going to a professional printer, then hopefully the PSD will work or do a save as out to the Adobe Acrobat PNG file format. So there you go. That is how to save a project in Photoshop Elements. All right, if you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you click on share as well and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements and there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.